important uh, tip I think anybody can, can tell you is to draw. And that means seriously draw, practice, play. And the more you play, the more you learn. And the better you get, the more you want to want to get. Okay, basic information on your pencils. This is an H pencil. It's light, a light line, and on the side, you get a light color here. Let's go to an HB. And an HB equals a number two. Good old basic pencil. On the side, it will allow you to shade in a darker situation. And then let's go for, let's see. You'll, you'll find the Bs are fantastic pencils. Uh, this happens to be a 5B, but you go from the lightest with the hard lead, the H pencils, to the number two HB pencil right in the middle. And then you go into your your book B pencils. This happens to be a number five. Notice it's darker and on its side it allows you to shade either lightly, a little more pressure, a little more pressure, into your darkest dark. So what you're dealing with is the whiteness of your paper, the darkest dark, and all those in between grays. So whether you're dealing with color or black and white, these gray versions are important. If you really enjoy drawing, and I hope you will, get yourself a little blending stump. Use it in a round motion. This happens to be on watercolor paper, so it's got what they call a tooth to it, which means texture. Go around motion, and you can blend these colors. This is the dark one. If you like a smoky look for some effect, that's perfection. Just what you want to do. All right, let's talk about drawing on a watercolor that you've already finished. Let's say uh, you painted it, you're happy with it, but you need to spruce it up. Take one here. Colors are interesting. The, uh, the background is interesting, but she doesn't stand out. So let's experiment. We may or may not like what we end up with. Let's try it. Okay, this is going to be... I've used some of this kind of, of ink. It's just a, a good pilot. And this is a more sturdy, thicker, wider, darker... I don't want this to look like anything in particular, except that I'm trying to make it indicative of what you might see if you're in Japan. People walking, and the native kimono is especially gorgeous. All right, now, if you're going to make a mistake, chances are it's going to be in the face area. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Several things I've already done that are pretty ridiculous but not one to give up I'd rather overwork it than underwork it the 
get the head covering. In her hand, she's holding a stick with blossoms. And you can certainly jump around to different sections. A lot of times you can just trust your intuition, especially if you're particularly uh, aware of a of the subject. Okay, let's see about this. The ghetto on her feet. Okay, what I'm hoping is that this will, I will say halo, her face and the child. All right, let me change to a different thinner. Keep your whites white. If you intend them to be white, you're going to have to purposely save them. Too easy to go over something and lose details that you want to keep. Don't think you have to do everything either. What you don't work on can be pretty terrific. All right, is she coming forward? Is she becoming more important in the picture? That's what I'm after. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to look at her a little closer. I'm not thrilled with the face, but then I don't want a portrait. I want a something that is a a quick observation. Kimono is quite large. Intended this to be a child starting out, but it may not be. It may be the mother. All right, let's see what we have. You know, drawing is a, a non stop critique of what you've done and what you want to change. Okay, I'm neglecting my light source, which is in this direction. Let's put a little shadow here and there.
All right, let's see if it's truly dark in some of these spots. Saving your whites where you want them. Is it a drawing or is it a painting? Okay, we've gotten really dark in a few spots. I'll go a little crazy. What are we doing here? I don't want it to be particularly decorative more than interesting. And I'd rather have interesting any day. So for now, ooh, that's a thick leg. Skinny eyes, eh? For now, it's going to take a, a little thought. I may go into it again. I may not. Uh, that's the thing. You take the blame and you take the credit. So anything you do to it is a positive or a negative. And uh, I think I have done what I want to do to this point. And we'll just see after that. So draw. It's important. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.